this episode of Monster Nation, we're off to San Francisco to see what strange things happen when you combine robots with performance art. And that makes it theater to me. Stay tuned, because we're going to see a robotic panhandler hit the streets of San Francisco. When we saw a robot demanding money on the streets of San Francisco, we followed it right into the strange world of Omni Circus. What we discovered behind the door was painter, sculptor, roboticist, composer, and performer Frank Garvey. If I was gonna eat you, I'd have done it a long time ago. This small studio space in San Francisco's South of Market District is where Frank lives, works, and unleashes his amazing theater pieces on an unsuspecting world. Where did all this come from? It started with the paintings. All I did in the 80s was that series of paintings. So we've got this weird catalog of, of stuff here, and then I realized that a lot of these things can be made into sculpture. And then I realized, wait a minute, this sucks, it doesn't move, it needs to move. So this guy, actually, Go Boy, the mechanical beggar, was the first sculpture that I made that moved. Not only did Go Boy move, it directly reflected what Frank was seeing and experiencing in his own neighborhood. We decided one day after walking down the street in the ghetto outside here, that there was a whole class of people that were sacrificing their lives to be performance artists. And so I, I looked at myself and my associates, and we were roboticists, and we decided we must automate those jobs. Doughboy was the first of several robots built for Omni Circus. There's also Godfella, Humper, and Plow Girl, a menacing madhouse contraption made from an electric wheelchair, state-of-the-art hydraulics, and a turn-of-the-century plow. We're filling up the air tank right here, which runs all her hydraulics. Um, there's two 12-volt batteries that run her wheels and her driving mechanism, which I control from this. You don't want to mess with Plow Girl, because she will cut you. As our cameraman almost found out. Hey, how are you? Godfella is a mechanized street preacher. Hidden beneath Godfella's rusted body armor and antique speaker cones are microprocessors and electric motors, all operated by remote control. And then there's the handicapped humper. Robotics is like a band. You can't do it as an individual. There's just too much. There's electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, computer science. Uh, there's welding. There's machining. One of Omni Circus's chief robot builders is Carl Pizzatoro. Carl Pizzatoro is the greatest robot engineer in the world. By day, Carl crafts instruments for scientific research labs. By night, he's a mad robot scientist designing and building incredibly intricate mechanical characters and kinetic sculptures. Not satisfied with simply making robots, in 1995, Frank decided to incorporate them into live theater. When I realized that this sculpture and the particular words that I picked for him to say were more effective at unleashing people's social biases better than Laurence Olivier would if he was sitting in that chair, or any great actor, that makes it theater to me, and that's where Omni Circus was born. Omni Circus's latest production is called Mystery Box House. This is one show that has it all. Tortured clowns, writhing sack people, heavy symbolism. This is as weird as they'll ever be. And robots. Come over here and make me feel good. I 
would describe it as just a robot rock opera. When you come to learn what the wheel will burn. The robots are really where it's at. I mean, that's what's going to step art and live performances, you know, into the future. There is no future. It's all over. <laughs> I'm gonna visit you in your life.